Hi, everybody. This is Dr. Venus. <laughs> My hair is free. Um, your Black Woman Millionaire's mentor. I'm about to get in the car. We got stuff to talk about. Oh my God, that whole Waffle House thing. Mm, that brother is amazing. But I wanna talk to you about something that I, that I think is really important for us as a community, but specifically for us as, as women. You know, are you, do you know yourself as someone who supports or sabotage other black women? I wanna talk to you about that because I'm gonna tell you some things that I think will make a huge difference. We are in the car. Hi, Denise, how are you? I'm coming in. Ah, hi, everybody. Okay. Ah, all righty then. I'm in the car. I'm putting my belt. Hmm? Um, no, we're going to go home. We're going to come back tomorrow and get it done. Okay. okay. I was trying to get my brows. I was trying. Hi, Rashida. I was trying to get my brows at wax because we're going to Chicago. And, um, and the person I like that does them, she's not, you know, she's, her, she couldn't do it. Meh which made me a little frustrated, but that's okay. We'll do it tomorrow. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let people get here, because we're going in, and it's important stuff, so I'm glad you're here. And um, y'all can hear me. I have, my, I have on my AirPods. I don't know if that's what they're called. I made that up, too. I hope it works. Hey, Franz. Hey. No, I'm not driving. Lisa's driving. I am not a <laughs> No, we're not doing that. But, um... I'm excited to talk with you today. Oh, thank you for the hearts. I love whomever gave me those. And I didn't even have to ask. Love you for Hi, Sky. Um, I want to talk with you about something that happened over the last couple of days. Hey, Vanessa. Glad you're here, Mama. Glad you're here. Okay, please go ahead and go ahead and start, please go ahead and start pushing this, this post out. Go ahead and start sharing this broadcast. The, I, this is a real, real, real big deal conversation for us as women. I gotta tell y'all. Oh, thank you for the hearts. Love you, love you, love you. For those of you who are new to me, hi, I'm Dr. Venus, your Black Woman Millionaire's mentor. My life is a miracle. By the time I was 16 years old, I was living on the streets of Baltimore, Maryland, eating out of trash cans and sleeping in urine and beer, okay? And it was my ninth grade math teacher, a black woman, holler and preach, who literally saved my life. And it's because of her love that I eventually <laughs> The sun is flirting with me. It's because of her love that I eventually graduated from Stanford University with a second master's and a PhD. I have four degrees. Um, took all the survival that kept me alive on the streets. Hi, Patty. And turned it into a system. Thank you for sharing, Sherry. Um, that fast-tracked our company to the million-dollar mark um, in just under three years. Our company, Defy Impossible, has grossed well over... Four million in the last five years. Thank you for the hearts, everybody. Hey, Jeannie, glad you're here. Hi, Pat. Hi, Carla. And um, our clients have generated, have grossed millions of dollars over the last seven years based on their testimonials, all right? So I have a sweet spot for purpose-driven, spirit-led, in some capacity, um, high-achieving black women, whatever that looks like for you, who've walked through life's fire and bear the scars, Okay. I'm very, very, very effective at teaching you how to break your first million, million by healing your heart, okay? And my work is, work, I have a diverse roster of clients and followers. My tribe is completely inclusive. We have people from all over the world who listen to our broadcast, who love on us, who, you know, who invest in our programs, who buy our, you know, buy our number one bestseller. Ah, thank you, team. Um, so whether you're white, black, Jew, Gentile, Philistine, or Filipino, or if you're gay, straight, trans, you are welcomed here, okay? You should know my wife's a woman. Her name is Lisa. She is the president of The Fire Impossible, and she truly is the best part of me, okay? Like, hands down, all right? And so my point is, this is a very inclusive environment. If you're not someone who has love for people, please leave. We will eat you and we will eat you in love. You can't be in a space like this and not be respectful of honoring people's walk. Even if it's not your walk, you get to honor it here. If you cannot honor that, then you're not welcomed here. And I say that with complete love and affinity. I'm fine with whatever your truth is, but we're, in a, we're out to lift each other up. And if you are not a person who's willing to learn, who's willing to be responsible, who is, you know, if you're just petty, <laughs> you don't want to be here, boo. I promise you, because you're just going to catch heat. So please know that. 
and because the tribe will check you i won't even have to check you okay so let me help you understand where you are this is this is for you if you are a person who's committed to being a millionaire by healing your emotional and cultural wounds that's what we do okay if you're here to troll i invite you to leave okay and you should also know that i curse i cry and i pray sometimes in the same breath I love God, I love my wife, and I'm not giving either one of them up, and I love you. I do not have to know your story to know your spirit, okay? You know that there's a destiny on you. You know that your life was meant for more. Otherwise, you would not be attracted to what I'm saying, okay? So, I want you to take the case that you're spitting distance from your seven-figure destiny. And the only thing that's missing, truly missing, is a mentor, a proven system, and a community. That's it, okay? Really, money is easy. It's almost insulting how easy it is, all right? The healing part is the thing that could just take you out, all right? Franz says, nothing but love here. Yeah, I had to step off or you'll get, or we'll get you, or you will get God. No, they'll get loved on, okay? Oh, Sheila said, it's not cursing, it's real tough. Well, thank you for that, Sheila. I appreciate that. And so... So this is my tribe and I love you. And so for all our new people, and if you're here and if new people come in, love on them, welcome them, okay? Because we're reaching, I want you to know our numbers are going crazy. We're already at 150 something for, Ch for Chi-Town. Wow. Okay, so Baltimore said it's, Durham started it, okay? Durham started it. Oh God, I hope I have lost my water bottle thing. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I have to get my water, okay? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Lisa's making me drink water, y'all, okay? So, I want you to know, Durham started it. We sold out Durham, okay? And then Baltimore just killed it, just, just blew the lid off. We sold over 265 tickets, okay? Um, now, but here's the thing. Chicago's like, you don't know me. Chicago, we still have like four or five days and Chicago's already at 150 tickets sold. So what I did is I'm not messing with black women no more. We just got a room for 100. We got a room for 300. How about that? Okay. And I'm <laughs> hey, Sherry, glad you're here. Shelly, glad you're here. And the thing that I want you to be clear of, I want you to check this out. This is what I noticed. And I need you to hear me on this. With Durham, but definitely with Baltimore, but even more specifically with Chicago, what's happening is that the women who are coming to the different tour stops, they're tagging their other sisters in success. They're inviting the women in their life who they know deserves to know how to do this. Like they ta they're tagging people, they're saying, who wants to come with me? Who's, you know, who can we ride up together? This is the thing called what I'm calling sister's keeper. So I'm gonna add a new phrase to the Defy Impossible lexicon called sister's keeper. This is what I'm noticing, and I want to tell you thank you for all of my sisters in success for taking this on. When you share these lives, these broadcasts, okay, when you give a context, like say, okay, check this out, this is what you need, your people listen to you, okay, and they'll come because they love and trust you. They don't know me, all right? And what I'm noticing is the reason why black women are getting free is because of you. So this is what I've been dealing with, and I need y'all to check this up, check up on it, okay? So I'm going to go into some teaching. Please, okay, before I do that, go get your ticket. Go to theblackwomanmillionaire.com forward slash tour, okay? Someone put that in there. Go ahead and get it now because I, want, I, I got a flow, and I need you to know where to go so that you can get your ticket, all right? You need to get in the room with me. There's only so much I can do online. I promise you, you can listen to, you can ask anybody who's come to any tour stop. It is the truth. Get in the room with me, all right? So someone please put that in so that people can track this. That um, if, so Grab your ticket. This is, I want you to be clear. The Black Woman Millionaire Tour, Healing Your Way to Seven Figures on Your Own Terms, is the hottest ticket in the nation for black women who are committed to being millionaires. It has been trending in DC. The word is going around the world. I'm telling you, you don't want to miss out. Don't be one of those people who misses out because you waited. Please don't. 
you know, I'm just surrendering. I'm like, okay, God, I'm just going to go ahead and get more tickets, get more space. So I'm buying up bigger rooms. We're getting more equipment, you know, it's all that. But I think you deserve it. And I think you're worth it. And because Durham, Baltimore, and now Chi-Town is showing out, that lets me know that you're hungry. But here's the thing you need to understand. The reason why sisters are showing up is because other sisters are saying, come play. Now, I need y'all to tell me the truth. Are you a black woman who sabotages other black women or supports them? I'm going to say that again. I need you to look in your heart. And I'm not just, I'm not putting you on front street, but I, you don't have to tell us out loud. You ain't got to tell us, but I want you to check up on something. Are you the kind of black woman who, when you get fed, you feed other people or do you keep it to yourself? Or if you see somebody who's thriving, do you hate on them? Do you have some secret jealousy in your heart? Or do you, are you in a kind of, uh, or do you have some kind of wounds where other black women have not honored you? And so you punish the rest of us? Real talk, real talk. Look at it, look in your life. Because one of the things I'm noticing, I want y'all to know what I'm noticing. I'm noticing two things. I'm noticing that black women who really, really, really are emotionally mature and committed to us winning, they share the knowledge. They forward the broadcast, they, they forward the email, they tag people because they know that if, if you don't win, I don't win, okay? But I want you to think about a situation in your own life. Please look for, and be honest. And, and you don't have to, again, you don't have to put on front street. This is not a judgment, it's a judgment free zone. But I want you to look in your own life. Have you ever felt like a black woman took you down? Do you see what I'm saying? Just look in your own life. Have you ever felt like somebody withheld something from you because you were winning? And and who knows why? I mean, I really don't even know, right? It could be that they didn't like your tone or because you didn't do it their way, they either gossiped about you. Okay, no, seriously, but this is real talk. They either gossiped or they undermined you or they just withheld their love. You see what I'm saying? Okay, Fatima says she sees it, yes, in corporate America. That's And that's real. And y'all have to be honest because you have to, this is the thing I want y'all to hear. I was I was looking at my book reviews on Amazon and this one woman, and I'm be honest, I don't know if she was black or white. It doesn't even matter at this point. Okay, thank you, Tessie, for telling the truth. You know, she says something, she said, if you clean your mouth, you'll clear your mind. And somehow or another in her communication of it, it was left me feeling like she was saying something about my intellect. Okay. Now, now be clear. Yes, you understand. I spent 13 years in school. Yes. Yeah. Gossip and undermining Shayla. That's, that's it. Um, I have four degrees and I am pretty genius at what I do. Now I'm not good at everything else. If you ask me about anything else, I can't do nothing with it, all right? But when it comes to thinking through complex ideas and making it plain, I got that on lock. So it hurt my feelings. Now, people who know me know that I curse. That is not even new for me. You know what I'm saying? That's like, okay, if you don't like cursing, don't listen to me, okay? And so if you don't like cursing, don't read that book, right? So, but she she didn't she didn't pull me to the side privately. She didn't send me a private message. She put it out there. She judged me. You know what I'm saying? And she gave me a one on my Amazon review, right? And there was nothing, that was nothing healthy for me in it. You see what I'm saying? Um, no, no, pray for a spirit. And so, and for all of my faith-based chicks, whether you're spirit, whether you're new thought, new age, Christian, agnostic, atheist, because that's a religion too. So whatever way you flow, I want y'all to know this. This is a big deal because if I can get my tribe to understand this, we can change the world, okay? Women across the board have been pitted, no matter what your race, you've been pitted against each other for jobs and for men. I get it, I understand it, I feel that, okay? I was, I had another situation with a young lady who had one of my videos, she was offended because I told people we had a mansion. Now, some of y'all was with us when we built this mansion, you know what I'm saying? Some of y'all were like, go Dr. V, go. And part of the reason I say mansion is because it is a mansion. It's not a house. You know, it's, 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 it has a study. It has you know, five bathrooms. It's a, you know, we have a, we have, what do we have? We have a, um, what is that thing called? We have a, we have an indoor patio. 
They, a house has a patio that's inside a patio inside the house. It's a fucking mansion, all right? So it would be silly to pretend that it's not a mansion when it really is a mansion because if I can have a mansion, you can too. That's the whole point. The reason why I open my house up and my home up to you is to stop making millionaire special. I'm out to be an accessible millionaire, not somebody who makes you feel like you have to aspire to be something you're not. You could be completely, completely bleh, and still make a difference, okay? And still make your mark in the world and still be paid. Thank you, Jackson, and it's gorgeous too. Love you for that. Hello, Shireen, glad you're here. But the thing that I want you to notice is that both of these women publicly chastise me for being myself. Like, that, the young lady with the, who got frustrated about the, um, no, I, Shayla, I don't know if people love to hate. Um, I think that people are hurt. Okay. And I, this is why I'm going to talk to you about it because I think that both of those young ladies, they weren't, I don't know. Could you imagine for a moment what their life must be like that the only recourse they have is to go into a public platform and bad and, and, and judge or and or criticize another human being who's winning on behalf of them do you understand now if i were not emotionally mature what i would do is clap back do you can you ask, anybody else have a clap back in them okay <laughs> i got a clap back in me y'all i got i got a i got a i got it in me right but what i want to talk to you about is this when, when you and I, and I want you to look in your real life, when you and I get ugly with each other, I want you to consider something. I want you to consider that when you and I, as women, gossip, mm, withhold, criticize, and or judge what we have just done, is made massa right. We have just taken the whole history of slavery that was in from 1619 all the way from 1619 to emancipation and we just brought it in our present day lives. Because fundamentally, when you come at another black woman for whatever reason you think is justifiable, you have just re you just you just did you just did master's job you just did slavery's job in keeping us divided you know and so my point is i'm asking you a real question specifically when you're hurt in all your god space i'm talking about when you are livid like you're like oh oh the, um, wendy williams says something about the clark sisters right really god why am i listening to music uh, okay I, I don't know what happened. I think it's my phone, but don't leave. I got to fix this. All right. Cause otherwise I, so my point is that Wendy Williams says something about the clock sister. She did a throwaway line. Now keep in mind that her stuff is written down. She's not freestyling no matter how it looks. There's a monitor that she's reading off of that her writers puts down. So I understand that. Well, she says something, she was loving on Snoop Dogg for having a number one gospel album and she made a, a joke about the clark sisters who in a lot of ways is literally gospel royalty they're like aretha franklin you know you say something aretha people are going to kill you right and so